Hi guys, welcome to my channel Science for All by PK. Today we are going to discuss about very interesting technology. Without this, we cannot think our day. Yes, we are going to talk about Wi-Fi. This topic is going to be very useful for the end users, the people working on wireless technologies or the students who are in college or doing engineering. For the end users also it is going to be useful when they are going to buy a new device or router. Wi-Fi is a networking technology based on IEEE 802.11 standards. Wi-Fi is a trademark of Wi-Fi Alliance which holds the right of writing Wi-Fi certified. In 1999, Wi-Fi Alliance formed a trade association to hold the Wi-Fi trademark. As on today, there are more than 500 companies as a member of Wi-Fi Alliance. I have prepared a table which we will be going through and in a short video, I will be giving you a very good overview of Wi-Fi technology. I am going to cover IEEE standards, when it was adopted and generation. Generation is a new thing for Wi-Fi. Earlier, we used to write 802.11a, b, g, n, a, c and sometimes we don't find any relation and people were confused. While in cellular technology, it is very easy. Say for example, 4G, 5G, 3G, easy to remember. Following same path, Wi-Fi Alliance also changed the name to simplify, especially for the end users. Wi-Fi 1, 2, 3, 4 like cellular technologies. Now question is, will these IEEE standard will be going away? No. These will not be going away, but Wi-Fi technology will be promoted as Wi-Fi 4, Wi-Fi 5 or Wi-Fi 6. It is going to be very, very useful and easy for end users to remember. Then we will look at the max link rate or data throughput of the different standards and what frequency they are operating and what are the major technologies. Let me start. First standard which is 802.11a and b. These are the two first standards which were adopted in 1999. a was working on 5 gigahertz band while 11b was working on 2.4 gigahertz. 5 gigahertz clearly had an advantage of higher throughput which was 54 mbps here mbps is megabits per second please remember it's not megabyte if we have to convert it to megabyte we need to divide this number by 8 here we can see throughput of 5 gigahertz which is 11a was higher than 11b but 2.4 gigahertz has a major advantage over 5 gigahertz and that was wider range. 5 gigahertz gave higher throughput but for the shorter range. 11A was working on OFDM technology while 11B used DSSS and CCK. DSSS is direct sequence spread spectrum and CCK is complementary code keying. For the benefit of users or my subscriber, I have kept all the abbreviations here. So you can pause the video and have a look on them. Now question is, when we started generation, Wi-Fi 1, 2, 3, it looks like 11A was first, but if we see name is Wi-Fi 2. To me, the reason for this looks like because 11b had lower data rate and when we increase in generation data rate goes up 
both came in the same year so probably that is the reason after that it is normal it is going as per the adoption next one was 11g which which came into adoption in 2003 and now it is called wi-fi 3 it also had 54 mbps data rate then what was special special was 54 mbps was achieved on 2.4 gigahertz that means we had throughput like 5 gigahertz or 11a in 2.4 gigahertz band that means wider coverage and we move to OFDM modulation next one of the most famous standard was 11n which came in picture in 2009 and now it is called Wi-Fi 4 this was the first standard or generation which had both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band supported so it was a major change from the earlier generations another major important technology which was added here was MIMO MIMO is multi input multi output technology where we have multiple transmitters and multiple receivers multiple antennas will be transmitting and multi multiple antennas will be receiving it increases throughput or the diversity that means it in it can be used to increase reliability or throughput then we move to 11 ac 11 ac again moved to only 5 gigahertz band here we had multiple streams it can support up to four streams and one stream at 4 2.4 gigahertz we can have throughput close to 400 mbps and at the max 6933 mbps here new technology came which was in addition to earlier technologies like MIMO beam forming and then we come to the latest technology which was adopted last year in 2019 is 802.11 AX or Wi-Fi 6 here onwards all of the generations are supporting 2.4 as well as 5 gigahertz band here major change has happened in terms of technologies added we had OFDMA which is orthogonal frequency division multiple access and multi-user MIMO and BSS coloring TWT TWT is target wake time target wake time is very very important technology for the users earlier what used to happen is the device will be keep checking every few milliseconds that is anything for me is anything for me and that consumes battery with the TWT enabled now AP or the router knows based on the device activity whether it is active or not active say for example you are sleeping in the night time when device is not active AP will decide whether it has to check every few millisecond few minutes or few hours in that case lot of battery is saved BSS coloring is another very important technology which is basic services set where AP assigns different colors to different users or devices and this receiver or the device matches this color every time it receives the signal if color is different then it knows this signal is not coming from the targeted AP or paired AP it is something different and it just ignore it so we are reducing noise in the system multi-user MIMO is a set of MIMO technology where MU MIMO algorithm enhances MIMO capabilities for multi-user use cases or we have multiple users or multiple connections similarly OFDMA 
is an extension of OFDM digital modulation for multiple users. Multiple access is achieved by assigning a set of subcarriers to a user. So we can assign different sets of subcarrier to the different users. Now, here something interesting happens. We get in between 6E, which is this year, means in 2020, and we can expect some devices launched with Wi-Fi 6E, which is an extension of Wi-Fi 6. Here, what is special? Special is whether it's a cellular technology or Wi-Fi technology, we all are struggling for spectrum. We are looking for bigger and wider spectrum. So here, new frequency band of 6 gigahertz, which is between 6 gigahertz and 7 gigahertz is added. So we have additional spectrum available. Then the next one is 11BE, which is expected to be adopted in 2023. And it is supposed to be called Wi-Fi 7. And I'm hoping that this also will support 2.4, 5 and 6 gigahertz band. I hope this table gives you a very good overview of Wi-Fi technology. Please keep writing comments and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.